Welcome to a RuneScape money making guide for noobs and new players with absolutely no requirements. Whenever you're ready, grab your cup of tea, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Assuming you are a new player and you've just completed the tutorial, you will start in this town known as Burforp, or Burfrope, depending on how you pronounce it. This will be our starting point. If you aren't over here, you can just teleport here using the lodestone system. Now this video can be followed on both mobile and PC, it doesn't matter as it's a cross-platform game. We're going to start by making some starting cash which we're going to use to make even more money very quickly by doing shop runs. This is a consistent way of making money that probably won't change no matter how many players will do it. Now you can kill these cows and chickens over here but there's less spawns and I wouldn't really recommend doing them here. We're going to be killing chickens for the feathers, eggs and meat and selling that to get our first 100k. We're going to be doing this in lumber, so we're just going to head over there first. Now this thing you can see here, this pad, this is a lodestone. You want to tap on it to activate it and then you'll have it unlocked permanently and it's a teleport you can teleport to whenever you want. This will be useful later down the line. We're going to head all the way to the end of this road and tap on this ship right here. This ship will allow us to travel to Lumbridge very quickly. Once in Lumbridge, you want to go ahead and tap on the pad you can see near the castle as this is another lodestone you'd want to unlock straight away. After that, head to this path as seen on the video and we're going to go ahead and go to a bank chest. The bank chest is something I'm going to show you first because we're going to be killing chickens nearby and you want to use this chest to bank all of your items every time your inventory is full. Now there's two different chicken spawns you can kill chickens at and it depends on how many people are at one spot but I will recommend this spot over the other spot because it's close nearby the bank. You basically kill the chickens and you pick up all the raw chicken meat, feathers and eggs you can find. Then go to the bank, put them in the bank and repeat. For the other spot you're going to need to cross the bridge then turn left and go to the chicken farm you can see on screen. It's the same thing, you kill the chickens, you area loot everything by just tapping on the floor, picking up all of the loot and then heading back to the bank. And once you're at the bank you want to press this button to dump all of your inventory into the bank at once. Now if for whatever reason you do not have a weapon you can simply craft one by mining some ore, smithing that into a bar and then crafting yourself a weapon at an anvil. But an easier way to get a simple starting weapon to kill some chickens with is by going to the birth of load stone by tapping the H button either on PC or on mobile, choosing this shield and then teleporting to that location, going to this cave as you can see on the video, talking to this NPC, trading him and buying the free bronze dagger. You can even kill some trolls inside this cave to get some starter weapons that are slightly better, but it will take some time to get all of them. I just thought I would add this in the video in case you somehow didn't have a starting weapon from either making your account, doing the tutorial or whatever, just, you know, future proofing this guide a little bit, I guess. One thing worth mentioning is setting up your action bar and setting it to revolution combat mode so that it automatically uses abilities for you when killing chickens or another type of monster. You can switch around your action bars by tapping on them and then selecting a number. It's a preset and you have multiple available to you. To change the abilities on your action bar, tap on the settings wheel and then you'll be in this interface. Select the number of action bar you want to change in the middle and then simply drag and drop abilities on top of that action bar slot. Now abilities on the left side are used more frequently than on the right side as your action bar is used from left to right. Abilities do have cooldowns of course so abilities on the right will be activated at some point but it takes some time. If you want some basic beginner action bars here are some ideas for you on screen. These will suffice for most low level content. Some abilities in these action bars are abilities you won't yet have unlocked, but you will unlock these after some time. The final thing I'd like to mention, make sure revolution combat mode is on, which is the icon in the bottom left corner. If it has a gold trim around it, it means revolution is on and abilities will be used automatically. For it to use all types of abilities automatically, including thresholds, you need to go to the home icon, tap on settings, go to combat and action bar, and tick off all boxes for all types of abilities inside the combat settings section. If you really don't want to go through the hassle of setting up an action bar, you can also tap hold on the settings icon and choose the option auto setup action bars to get a basic action bar that is set up for you by the game. If you're wondering how this works on PC, it's very similar except you have to click the lock to unlock your action bar and then drag and drop abilities. If you want to turn on revolution mode, click the settings wheel and then tick off revolution and tick off all types of abilities including ultimates to be activated automatically. I know it's a lot to take in but once you've set it up once, you will never have to touch it again. 
Alright, back to making our starter cash. Go to your bank and tap the white note icon in the top right corner you can see. This is the same icon as on PC. Once you've tapped it once, withdraw all of your chickens, all of your feathers, and all of the eggs you have, as we're going to be selling these at the Grand Exchange. I'm going to speed this part up, but you just have to follow the route, as you can see on the video, to get to Varok. Once you're at Varrock, don't forget to tap the Lodestone to unlock it as we're going to be using it later. Then keep on going as seen. Once at the Grand Exchange, talk to this NPC and go through his chat options to unlock the Grand Exchange, which is RuneScape's marketplace. You can now buy and sell items as you wish from the Grand Exchange, and you're going to need about 153k to do the shop run we're about to do in free to play. You can do this by killing about 150 chickens or so, it doesn't take very long whatsoever. If your items aren't selling, you can lower the price by around 5-10% to 10 to instant sell the items. This is sometimes useful, but you can also wait and see if they actually sell for the price you put them in. It depends on the demand, and it depends on how many people are doing this. Now before we go on to the shop run that will turn your 153k in about 453k, so about 300k profit in less than 5 minutes, you're going to want to go ahead and unlock two different lodestones, being the Edgeville and Port Sarum lodestone, which are both highlighted in red on this map. I'm sure you can get there and this will also give you an opportunity to explore the world which is why I won't be showing you how to get there in this video. And because I don't want the video to be 30 minutes long of course. Again to teleport use the H icon on both PC and mobile and we're going to be using these four lodestones to teleport to different shops. Start by teleporting to Shield 1 in Burrothrope and go to this shop as seen on the video right next to the lodestone. Trade Apprentice Clara and buy out the water, air, fire and body runes and you can also go ahead and grab the free stuff so that's the red blue and white rune and the blue dots rune once you've done that teleport to varok for the second rune shop in this rune shop we're going to be buying the exact same things being air fire water and body runes this is because these are currently the profitable options these might change over time which is why i'll leave a wiki link in the description below to calculate what runes are profitable and which ones are not Teleport to Port Sarum for the third rune shop. Now there's a feather shop here as well, but I'll cover that in just a second. And there's a reason why I'll cover it separately. It's the first building next to Lowson, by the way, if you're wondering, but you know, we'll, we'll just continue for now. So the rune shop for this one is at the end, and this rune shop also sells magic gear, but I wouldn't recommend buying and selling on the Grand Exchange because prices fluctuate so much. And I'll cover that later in this video as well. The reason I'm showing you a rune run is because it's always going to be in demand, while those items may not be. Again, buy out the same runes, water, fire, air, and body runes. Then teleport to shield 4, which is Edgeville, and we're going to go to the final shop, which is inside the wilderness. So if you don't want to lose the runes you have right now, there's a bank right here. Just chuck them in the bank and leave them there. Just be sure to have your money with you. As long as your money is in your coin pouch, it cannot be lost if you are PK'd. Go to this section behind the bank, use the lever, and go inside the wilderness. Spam tap that web to break it, and follow the video as seen. We'll come to this location, we're going to have to break two more webs, spam tap them, click the lever, and inside. Trade this NPC as seen, and then buy out the fire, air, water, body, and the cosmic runes, which are the banana star runes, the yellow ones, as these are currently also profitable. Again, be sure to check the wiki link in the description below to see if they are still profitable. Now, on top of this rune run, what you can do, especially if you're members, as they sell feather packs, is buy feathers in the fishing shops. In the free-to-play world, you have access to two different ones, one being in Port Sarin, which is shield number three, as you can see here. Now, you can even buy harpoons here, which you can also sell for money, but you have to bank them. Just don't bother with them for now. Just buy the feathers. Then head to Shield 5, which is Lumbridge. And there's another fishing shop there, as seen on the video, where you can also buy feathers. With all these items combined, the feathers and the runes, you will have spent 153k. But once you sell these items on the Grand Exchange, you will get, around today's prices, 453k, which means you will have made 300k in absolutely no time. And you can do this on both PC and mobile, it doesn't matter, as long as you follow this run, you will be able to make 300k every single day in about 5 minutes. 
and that's really, really good. And the reason I don't recommend buying weapon items from weapon stores, which you can definitely do, by the way, and you can also buy the harpoons, which do actually sell for profit, is because if I recommend that in a video, more people will do it, and there is a chance that those items simply won't be worth your time or will sell really hard, which is why I'm just going to stay away from those items. I just don't want you to be wasting your time doing those runs and then suddenly not being able to sell the items or having to sell the items at an extremely low price where the profit is so minimal. Now, that shop run I just showed you is purely free to play with zero requirements other than that 153k GP, which you can easily make from chickens and otherwise by simply chopping some logs, mining some ore, just selling some items, getting 153k isn't that hard. If for whatever reason chickens are suddenly extremely bad money, another way of making money is simply by chopping some trees, selling the logs on the Grand Exchange. You can do this with the regular logs or with oak logs at level 15 woodcutting. You can also string tier 1 shield bows at level 1 fletching and free to play by buying bowstring, buying uncut logs, cutting them into shield bows or short bows, unfinished, stringing them and then selling them. Those are just some ideas to make money on a fresh account on both mobile and PC and it's really easy to do these things on a mobile device. And that's about it for this video. If you need anything else, I have a ton of guides on my channel and otherwise, if you don't know how something works in this game, simply type slash wiki and then whatever you're looking for or use the wiki button in game. This is a good way to find out information without needing to ask for help. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful. If you did, leave a like down below and maybe even consider subscribing. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.